there's about 220,000 new cases of non-small cell lung cancer in the country annually. It's, it's about 2015, that was the number. And of those patients, there are about 30% of those patients have stage three lung cancer. Stage three lung cancer, the standard treatment is chemotherapy and radiation. So in an ideal setting, that's how we would treat these patients. Um, but there is a subset of those patients who cannot receive chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, it's because they're of other medical comorbidities, cardiac history, uh, kidney issues or injury from other issues, uh, from other medical problems, and um, pulmonary issues. Those are examples of reasons that people would have a poor pulmonary or performance status. Uh, patients also don't wish to have chemotherapy and so they wouldn't want the combined treatment. So we had to come up with other ways of treating patients with just radiation alone that we think would be more effective than the standard treatment. So the standard treatment, if you can't give chemotherapy and radiation together, is to give them six weeks of radiation alone. Uh, but the outcomes are not optimal. Um, patients eventually fail both where they were radiated as well as elsewhere within a relatively short period of time. So we were wondering whether increasing the potency of the radiation uh, by what we call hypofractionating or increasing the dose per fraction, as well as accelerating by reducing the time that we would deliver the radiation would improve patient survival outcomes. Additionally, we were interested in knowing whether by treating patients in half the time from six weeks to three weeks, we were improving their quality of life um, and just general well-being.